to get a cast to not get a cast that is the question hey there guys i'm so glad you're here if you don't know already hi my name's courtney and <laughs> I love playing around with different products and techniques for my wavy curly hair. I really enjoy this. This is really fun. And today we're talking about a wavy curly hair term that you may have come across that kind of is a hang up for a lot of people and that is the cast. The cast is when the gel dries down on your curls and creates this crunchy exterior. Now, where the hangup is, is that there's this picture in everybody's mind of way back in their teenage years, or maybe even before their time, where crunchy curls were a thing. And it's because people were using gel and leaving their curls in the gel cast. But the gel cast can actually be one of your biggest friends. Is it necessary for a good wash day? Absolutely not. Y'all have heard me say this before on my channel. No, you don't need a, a good cast for your hair. Also, if you're not getting a cast, you're not doing anything wrong. Some people's hair is really prone to getting a cast and some people's hair really isn't prone to getting a cast. That's just the nature of everyone's hair being completely different. Before I go too much further, I would like to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Curlsmith. Guys, I am so grateful to work with this company. They are growing, they are expanding. I love it. They have such a good range of products that allow you to get different looks with your hair. All their products work really well together, but you can also mix and match different products to achieve a different look in your hair, which I think is really, really cool. Y'all know how I feel about one brand wash days. I don't know why it is so satisfying to use all products from one line. As we're moving into summer, it's actually really, really nice to have options for your wash day instead of being locked in to doing the exact same thing every single time it can be a little bit much in this video i am showing how different levels of cast work in my hair and how that affects the overall finished wash day a couple more things i want to mention about the cast are the benefits First off, this nice, crunchy, strong exterior to your curls can actually be really, really helpful if you have a looser curl pattern or if you have just recently started wearing your hair wavy curly. Having that structure really allows your curl memory to reactivate. So the longer you can leave your hair in the cast, the better. Also, getting a really good, strong cast on wash day can prolong wash day longevity. This isn't always the case, but it tends to be the general rule. So that is why you hear everyone talking about the gel cast and trying to get a gel cast. But in this video, I'm going to show you how it's not necessarily the end all be all. And if you don't get a gel cast, it's not going to automatically equal a bad or failed wash day. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the first wash day, which is what my hair looks like when I get absolutely zero gel cast. All right, guys, we're doing the first and fastest wash day. This is my product free routine using all the curl smith because I like it. Specifically, we are featuring the moisture memory curl reactivator. I really love this product because not only does it work beautifully as a leave in conditioner, but it also has heat and UV protection, which makes it absolutely perfect for those days you don't want to spend time styling your hair, but you still want to protect it. This is going to be fast, quick, and easy. 
Let's do this. All right, and now for the star of this wash day. You could spray this directly on the hair, I think. Like the mist is fine enough, but I'm just gonna spray it into my hand. About. <sighs> I like throwing things. <laughs> About 10 sprays into my hands. And I'm still applying this on pretty wet hair. That really helps me make sure I'm getting a really good even distribution. Water is a great carrying agent for product, but I am also going to brush my hair to also help distribute the product. Then I'm going to squeeze the excess water out of my hair. And I'm going to put my hair up in my towel a little bit differently. I'm just going to let my hair hang down into the towel instead of plopping and pretend that my perfect hair care towel is like a good old fashioned turban towel thing. <laughs> like we used to do with our terry cloth towels, or at least that's how I always used it growing up. All right. And that is it for the washing and styling portion. Well, almost. I had to do one more thing. I'll show you one more thing. All right, here's the second part of the styling portion. I have let my hair sit in this towel just for a little bit so that the water, some more water, has been pulled out of my hair. Now I'm going to take the towel down, scrunch out even more, trying to do the opposite of what I normally do when I style my hair. Usually I want all the water in my hair, but not today. Okay, then I am going to gently pull everything off the sides and back of my head because it's sticking up in a weird direction. I'm not really brushing the crown area. I find that if I brush my crown, I get really, really, really flat roots, but I am just kind of smoothing things. Then I do something weird. I give my head a very violent shake, like so. Woo! <laughs> and that is it. I'm going to air dry my hair, let my hair live its best life. I will be continually running my fingers through my hair because it is on days like these that I enjoy the glory of not worrying about breaking up my curl clumps. So I'll be back to show you the hair once it's 100% dry. All right. Here is the product-free hair, 100% dry. To be perfectly honest, sometimes it dries almost completely straight. Today, it went ahead and dried a little bit more wavy, and I think the reason for that is, is the weather outside. So today, we, we, we had some serious rain where I live, and because of that rain, 
my hair took forever to dry. It was not dry for hours on end. Normally, when it's product free, it'll go ahead and air dry, you know, max an hour. Today it took four hours to air dry with no product in it, which is unusual because gel is occlusive. It holds in moisture. So when you put gel in your hair, it takes longer to dry. I expect my hair to take longer to dry when there's gel in it. But when there's no gel in it, like, come on. But let me turn around and show you the product free slash just the moisture memory curl reactivator in my hair. Results, final results. It's late in the day, guys. I'm <laughs> my brain is already shot. <laughs> Now, if your hair had more wave bend, a stronger curl pattern, or your hair is more on the coarse side and not on the super fine side, you may find that to air dry really smoothly, it may work better for you to keep your hair in two twists while it's air drying. You just kind of keep brushing it down and smoothing it into two twists and twisting and twisting and living your best life. They hold better when they're damp. Side note, no, my hair did not always air dry like this. It's been after three years of following tips and tricks from the curly girl method that has improved the health of my hair to the point where I can do so little effort to it. And it, and it, like, I'm okay, I'm okay wearing this hair out. This is presentable, this is fine. If you are looking at this wash day and thinking, there is no way that that could work for me, I would say give it a try. Maybe try the tweak of twisting your hair while it's air drying to kind of hold it smooth while it dries. I learned that trick from Coffee Curly Girl over on Instagram, by the way. You should totally go check her out. She's a wealth of knowledge. I adore Kelly. So that is it for this wash day. This is what my hair looks like when I don't get any cast at all. I also save this wash day for days when I'm too busy running around, having fun, doing all the things, and I don't need my hair to look a certain way. I am still maintaining the health of my hair. I've got that leave-in conditioner protector in my hair. This is honestly probably how I wear my hair most often during the summer. I just let it go. I let it go so that I can go and do all the fun summer things. But if that doesn't work for you, you might find the next wash day to be your jam. And here we are for the second wash day. I thought about how to do this and I don't know why I'm telling you this while I'm leaning over the tub instead of sitting comfortably in my normal spot. But you can control how much of a cast you get by which products you pick. But you can also control what kind of a cast you get by how much of the products you use. So I decided to keep the products the same for this wash day, which is going to be the medium cast wash day and the hard hold cast wash day. But later I will be discussing how you can get like a softer, more medium-esque type cast with different products. Here we go. All right. Now, if I'm shooting for a softer cast, you can use something a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier, like a curl cream. This is an actual cream. It is not a leave-in conditioner, but it does have some very good conditioning, moisturizing ingredients in it. So this will work perfectly to sub in in my leave-in conditioner step. If your hair is particularly dry, you can use both a leave-in conditioner and a cream, but if I were to use both, it would be way too much for my hair. 
And since I'm going for a slightly softer cast today, I'm going to be grabbing way more than if I were shooting for a harder cast. When you have more leave-in and cream underneath the gel, it tends to soften the cast a bit and your hair doesn't get quite as locked in or as crunchy. I'm just gonna apply this like I would normally, brush it through my hair, get my curl clumps all organized, and then I'm gonna add my gel. Also, if you want a softer cast, you make sure that there is more water in your hair than less water in your hair. And for the sake of accuracy, I will be measuring the gel because sometimes you dip your fingers into a jar like this and you think you've grabbed the same amount, but that can be deceiving. Also, I feel more sanitary doing it this way. Perhaps I am, perhaps I'm not, but it makes me feel better. So that is around one teaspoon of the custard. And the reason I chose to use, well, it's not a custard, it's a souffle. The reason I chose to use the souffle from Curlsmith is because it is my all time favorite styler from them. I, interestingly enough, this product gives my hair more of a cast than their in shower style fixer which is supposed to be their harder hold. But I think that's just my hair. Everyone's hair, oops. You know, I went to all the trouble to measure the product and then I dropped some, oh well. Everyone's hair is a little bit different and reacts a little bit differently to products. So all of these suggestions I'm giving you in this video to shoot for a nice hard cast are just guidelines. These aren't set in stone rules. These are generalities that I have noticed over the years of chit chatting with other wavy curlies and through years of curl coaching. So there you go. Now that I feel like I've really got the products distributed, and my curls are locked in where they need to be, I'm going to very gently wring the excess water out. But now that I'm removing some of the water from my hair, I'm going to be very, very careful with my curl clumps. I'm not gonna be violent. I'm not gonna be flipping my head from side to side as much as I once was. So there you go. That is it. I'm going to go plop and diffuse and be back to show you what kind of a cast I get when I use more cream and less souffle or gel. Okay. <laughs> Here is the hair. I am 100% dry and I'm ready to scrunch out the crunch. Except, listen, listen, let's see if you can hear it. There's no crunch. <laughs> This is the kind of wash day that never gives me a really hard, crunchy cast. Let me see if I can find a piece there. See, like, it's not stiff. There's, my hair still feels touchable all the way down, but you can see that it's looking just a little bit stringy because I haven't fluffed it scrunched it one more time, shook it out, and it's not living its full, wonderful, wavy, curly life yet. So let me fluff it really quick and show you the difference. I tend to be a pretty aggressive fluffer. See the difference? See? See? This is the soft cast. 
I tend to like using this wash day in particular, where I use a little bit of a heavier cream underneath a hard hold kind of product when my hair is needing a little bit extra nourishment, a little bit of an extra boost from my products. But at the same time, I want kind of a more soft, not necessarily voluminous, but just a softer, looser kind of look. This tends to be one of my favorite looks when I go out to lunch with some friends, when I'm wanting to wash and style my hair, but I'm not wanting a very perfected kind of look. Now, if you wanted to, you could absolutely get a similar soft cast sort of result if you used something like the Moisture Memory Curl Reactivator underneath, or even the Weightless Air Dry Cream. It's not really cream, it's like Curl Smith's Super Moisturizing Leave-In. And use one of Curl Smith's like not crazy hard hold gel. I find that both the Hydro Style Flexi Jelly and the Aqua Shape Up Gel give me very similar amounts of hold. This contains just a tiny bit of protein, which does help keep my hair balanced, but it is a very, very runny consistency. As a general rule, this is not always true, but as a general rule, the thicker the gel is, the more chance it's gonna give me for it to give my hair a cast. I haven't found a product that gives my hair a cast that's really, really runny. Just saying. Not to say it doesn't give me beautiful wash days that have beautiful lasting power. There's just no cast. And that's what we're talking about. <laughs> so, softer cast, medium cast wash day, that's what you would do. All right. Now let's show you how I get a rockin' hard hold cast. All right, and here we are. Ooh, are we even straight? I wanna make sure you can see all the magic. Ooh, I think that looks good. <laughs> anyway, here we are. This is the hard cast wash day. There are some techniques that I have to use to get this to work because my hair doesn't want to be in the cast. If your hair gets a cast fairly easily, you may not have to be as delicate as I'm gonna be, but let's just go ahead and get started. Again, I'm going in with the same shampoo and conditioner that I've used for every wash day so far. I will be using the same products that I used for the last wash day, as I mentioned earlier. I'll just be using different amounts. But of all the Curl Smith products, these are the ones that give me the best shot at getting a cast. All right, now y'all remember from a few minutes ago for you, how much I grabbed of the leave-in last time. I have grabbed about half that amount that I grabbed the first time. I'm gonna apply it the same way, kind of finger combing it through the hair. Then I'm gonna brush it through to make sure that each and every single strand is getting coated with just a little bit of product. And then I really push the hair away from my face pull it off the sides, pull it off the back of my head. Then I'm gonna organize my curl clumps with just a little bit more water, especially these in the back of my head. Now, I'm gonna grab my gel, which is the styling souffle. I'm gonna measure out one teaspoon, just like last time, but this is only the first application. <laughs> I will be applying another full teaspoon. Part of making sure you get a really good cast 
is maybe using slightly less leave-in or cream underneath the gel. It's also making sure you use enough gel. If you're not using enough gel, your hair's not gonna get a nice crunchy cast. Now I'm ready for my second teaspoon. Using double the amount of gel as last time and half the amount of cream. This time I am gonna be trying to focus on the sides and back of my head. There we go. Now I'm just gonna plop and diffuse my hair as per usual, and I'll be right back. All right, here I am with my hair 100% dry and in the cast. Okay, okay, see? See how it's like sticking up? Whereas last time it wouldn't do that. Look at this, look at this. My hair's crunchy. So there's so many factors that come into play when you are looking to try and get your hair to be in the cast. So far, I've really been focusing on which products you're using, product amounts, but also how you diffuse your hair is important. So yesterday, when I was doing the soft cast video, I used this diffuser that does come with my Dyson. It's smaller than than, than this one, this one's a lot bigger. And when I was diffusing, I was moving the diffuser around more, I was shaking the diffuser at my roots, and I went ahead and diffused my hair to 100% dry. Today, I used my much bigger diffuser, which was able to scoop up way more hair, and I held it still for way, way longer. This allowed my hair to dry without breaking the gel cast. If you move your diffuser around too much, you can actually break the gel cast in your hair. Also, I stopped diffusing my hair at 90% dry and let it finish air drying. If I diffuse my hair to 100% dry, it always breaks the gel cast no matter what I do. So this is what the hair looks like before. Uh, scrunch out the crunch. Also, yes, I am wearing this satiny sort of robe. This allows my hair underneath to not rub on my shirt and it doesn't break the cast on my hair underneath. So see, there's like all these little things, wearing a robe, the way I diffuse my hair, the amount of products that I use, etc. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and scrunch out the crunch now. I've waited too long, I'm so excited. Let's see if you can hear it. No, I don't think you can hear it, but I can feel it. He's so crunchy. And you know what I forgot to mention? To check that my hair is 100% dry, I stick my fingers into my hair and close my fingers if there is no coolness or dampness, I know my hair is 100% dry and it's safe to go ahead and scrunch. You can kind of like touch your hair to see if it's dry, but you'll break the gel cast that way. Doing it like this allows your hair to stay in the cast longer without breaking it and make sure it's all the way dry. And there we go. The gel cast is fully broken. My hair feels really soft and touchable. This is what it's looking like. One thing about this wash day where I was really shooting for a cast it's a little bit more in time intensive. I have to be a little bit more careful because my hair doesn't really want 
to go into the cast. So it does take a little bit more effort on my part, but you can definitely see that my hair is more spirally, more curl enhanced, definitely more defined. This is the kind of wash day that I save for like date night, going out, when I want to have an absolutely perfect hair day, this is the wash day routine that I use. One thing I did forget to mention is once you have removed any of the water from your hair, when you're shooting for a really hard gel cast, try your darndest to touch your hair as little as possible. That's why checking your hair with your fingers like so is better than checking your hair like this to see if it's dry because the more you touch your hair, the more chance you will have at accidentally breaking the gel cast. So the moment after you plop your hair, that's it. No more, no more touchy. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you again so much to Curlsmith. I really appreciate this company and I really appreciate them sending me these products and allowing me to share this amazing information with you guys. Don't forget to check out the links in the description down below if you are interested in checking out any of these products. Keep in mind that these are general guidelines that I'm showing you all within one brand because I feel like that keeps things fairly simple but that these principles that I've shared with you do apply across different brands. There are many gels that will serve well to help your hair form a gel cast. I tend to find that medium to strong hold gels do that better for me rather than light to medium hold gels. Also, using a curl cream, no matter where you decide to purchase your curl cream from will soften a really hard hold gel and lighter weight, runnier leave-ins or using less of the leave-in that you have will help your gel have more of a cast. All right, guys, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to y'all later. 